Hey guys, so it's your girl Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about Cedar Point because me and my brother and dad recently went to Cedar Point and I want to talk to you guys about the experience and everything that we did basically. So yeah, last year I filmed a Cedar Point vlog. Um, I don't remember if I brought my camera with me because I can't imagine that I did that, but I don't remember. So I might put some pictures here and there just like if I have a couple pictures that I um, took or that my brother or dad took. Um, but yeah, so we went to Cedar Point. And if you don't know what Cedar Point is, maybe you don't live like in the mid, uh, the um, northeast of the country. Um, but it's amusement park. I mean, I, I mean, as far as I know, it's pretty popular and pretty well known around the country, maybe. And we got to Cedar Point. Uh, Friday, me and my dad went out to Mexican. We had Mexican food and we drank. And I had this, what was it called? Ocean Blue Margarita with like curaco in it. And I was pretty fucked up after that. <laughs> it was a definitely a strong drink, that's for sure. And so basically, um, I was a little bit hungover Friday night and Saturday morning. And I told my dad at Mexican at the Mexican restaurant that I wanted to ride the Raptor ride, which is my favorite ride at Cedar Point. And we rode it. But I was a little nervous because I kind of felt a little, like, not great Saturday morning. Like, I didn't feel horrible. Like, I've definitely had worse hangovers before, but I didn't feel great. So... I was a little anxious and even like like walking through the line to get to the ride I was feeling a little not so great so and of course I told my dad this and I didn't tell him that I was like hungover which he probably should have assumed because he was kind of well he wasn't hungover I don't think but he was drinking too so he should have assumed that I was hungover but but yeah um and so he just told me not to worry and blah blah blah, blah. we got on the ride he was wearing a hat, like a baseball hat. And I was too worried about my glasses because, you know, when you're on a ride, you, I mean, you have to take your glasses off, you know, obviously. So, and I was worried, and I just was trying to like remind myself to give my glasses to my dad, which I did. And we rode the road, we rode the road. We rode the ride, it was really fun. I love that ride. Cause I love it because it's like in between a like, normal coaster and like a like you know because i feel like there's two different types of roller coasters it's like the terrifying like crazy like super freaking fast 90 mile an hour rides that are like they really like shake you up and then there are coasters like baby like kitty rides and then in the middle there's like coasters that are like just fun and not super scary but they're just fun really 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 fun coasters and the raptor is in the middle i would say and the funny thing is like as we were getting close to the end of the ride we were like you know getting close to you know the thing coming up and everything um and my dad said that he that his hat fell off <laughs> so we were both like oh shit <laughs> and we were looking for it when we got off the ride we find we found it but it was behind a danger do not enter fence so we asked this one worker if we could get back there and he, of course he said that he couldn't let us back there because of the danger. And I mean, I was like, if my dad would have been, if my dad wouldn't have been there, I probably would have tried to climb the fence, which yes, is illegal and yes, I shouldn't have done it. I didn't do it, but in my mind, I was like, come on, like we were so close to it, like we could see the hat. And it was a yellow hat, so it made it really easy to see, so. But yeah, um, and then after that, my dad wanted to buy a new hat, so we went into the Snoopy store and he bought a Snoopy hat. Well, actually a Charlie Brown hat with the, you know, like, you know, the Charlie Brown hair look thing. Um, and actually we went to that store like two or three times. It was really, I was not expecting to go into a Snoopy store that many times, honestly. But I just ate Mexican food, so. Actually leftovers from Friday, so. I feel like I have food in my, tip of my mouth. Um, and then after that, we got some drinks, not like but like alcohol. We got alcohol later in the day. But we got some drinks. We just walked around um, for a while. 
honestly we didn't really do a whole lot we got a beer me and my brother got a beer and okay this is not supposed to be a racist comment but i was very surprised at how many people work at cedar point that have accents or like they're it's obvious that they're not like american i mean they're i mean they might be american citizens but they're like obviously not like you know like they don't talk like me you know not that that's a bad thing i'm not like a racist or like a whatever you want to call it person but it was kind of weird i'm like really <laughs> but um but the both times we got we got beer the first guy like i looked at me weird and like looked at both me and my brother's ids and was like like making sure it was real and i'm like real ids look a certain way so yeah um and and then the second woman that we got beer from was she like literally asked me if this was my real id or if it was a real id and if i was over 21 like and i was like yeah it was weird um i get that they're liable and i get whatever whatever but and then um what else um the only other ride that me and my brother went on my dad didn't go on any any other rides the only other ride that my me and my brother went on was this ride called the scrambler it's a kid ride but we waited we literally were in line longer than me and my dad were in line at raptor and it's a kid ride but there were a lot of like parents with their kids you know so but honestly that ride is so underrated it is so much fun like it is like literally so much fun. I was laughing and having the time of my life on that ride. Partially because my brother, like, he doesn't like roller coasters. Like, he doesn't like fast coasters. So every time we go to the Cedar Point, he will only ride, like, the kiddie coasters. So, yeah. Which is, like, whatever. Um, at this point, I'm just like, whatever. If I can get him on a coaster. Like, I prepped, I mean, honestly, initially, he didn't even want to go to any coasters at all. I practically had to beg him to go on a coaster. So, yeah. But it was so much fun. Um, and then after that, we went on the monorail on, uh, on the monorail, which oh my god, the monorail was like less was way less smooth than like the any of the other rides that we went on. It was like rickety, um, but it's like the oldest thing at the park. So, and we also went on the train that they have. So I guess technically we went on like four co four kind of ride thing mabobs. Um, but yeah, so the train was good, you know. Oh, and um, there was this area of the park that I remember being in. I told my brother and dad that I really wanted to find this area. And they were like, they thought that this other area that we were in was the area that I was talking about, and it wasn't. But we found the area that I was talking about, and it's called Frontier Land. And it's basically like this area of land where, area of land, <laughs> area of the park that is very much, um, like a western or frontier kind of feeling but i would call it more of like a frontier kind of feeling and they actually had, they actually had a petting zoo and i pet a camel and a llama which was actually really cool and for somebody who doesn't love i mean i don't love animals like i don't like oh my god like i don't melt when i see like a dog commercial or whatever but i mean i was not expecting to pet a camel and a llama i mean you can't even do that at the freaking zoo I mean, they should have, like, petting zoos that are, like, zoos, but that, you know, you can actually touch the animals or at least, like, put your hand in, like, a hole or whatever, you know? But they're probably worried about, you know, being liable. Not, 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 not the, uh, not Cedar Point, but, I mean, the zoos. After, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And the main, obviously, the main, the main reason we went to Cedar Point was because Every year, my my dad's an electrician, and he he has his his union picnic has been at Cedar Point. So we get tickets, we go to Cedar Point, we you know do the fun stuff, and then from like a certain period of time, we can go to, to this pavilion and have free food like hot dogs and chicken and baked beans and some pop, and they have chips and cookies and stuff like that. So we went to that, and then after that, we went to the beach. Because they have a beach there, and they don't have a beach at Put-in-Bay, so, which is, like, really weird, but yeah. 
Um, but we weren't in like beach clothes. So we just basically like walked in the sand a little bit and I walked to the edge of the water and I put my fingers in it because I can't swim. So yeah. Um, and we were only there for like a few minutes, honestly, because my dad's knee was starting to hurt him and my, my brother didn't feel comfortable being like in the sand because he, he didn't know how to walk in sand because he's a freaking weirdo. But yeah, I, I wanted to be in there for longer, but, but of course the funny part is like getting into, getting through the gate to get to the beach was really, really easy. Like boom, getting back from the beach to the park was like 10, 10 15 minutes to get back in because there's a line. So yippee for lines. Um, and then after that, I'm pretty sure we just went to the Snoopy shop again. Yeah. So yeah, it was not a bad day, not a bad experience. I had fun at Cedar Point and I just wanted to show you guys, share with you guys the experience and a couple pictures here and there. And my dad also, he went to the Lost and Found for his hat because like I said, he didn't get his hat back. Um, but there's a website he can go on and they can like ship the hat, like if he puts in the descriptors for it, they can ship the hat to our house. So hopefully that'll work out because he really wants his hat. That's the experience that I had at Cedar Point. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm contemplating trimming my hair, so I might try to film that in within the next like hour or two. So maybe I'll uh, film that for you guys and let you guys see that. But maybe I don't know. Um, I work basically the rest of the week because I'm filming this on a Monday, so I basically work the west the west the rest of the week so yeah so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to comment below if you have been to cedar point if you like cedar point um if you've ever pet a llama or a camel <laughs> whatever and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i upload every monday wednesday friday and i would really really appreciate it because i love you guys i do these videos for you guys and i hope that they are entertaining and let me know what you guys want to see from me next. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!